Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another out and about video for you guys today. This video may be one of the most special videos uh, I ever made. Well, personally to me, uh, I'm gonna be going down to San Jose, California, for the very first time. I'm gonna be taking a flight out of uh, you know uh, Burbank, California, to head on over to Silicon Valley Comic Con. I don't normally fly. Uh, to any conventions whatsoever. I usually just go to the local ones and different things like that. But this one is a very special that they're uh, throwing this year. And I'm just like, uh, I gotta go. Okay, because it's like a once in a lifetime uh, opportunity uh, I'm gonna have to meet uh, my number one celebrity crush of all time, uh, Christina Ricci. Uh, she's gonna be uh, at this convention. This is her first ever, uh, you know, m convention appearance. And uh, who knows if she's ever gonna do one ever again after this. As soon as I found out about this convention, I'm just like, uh! I have to go to this. I remember uh, back in the day, my sister used to collect the, you know, Teen Bop magazines and, you know, like Teen Beat and all that kind of stuff. And she used to get like those pictures of like, you know, Hanson and Jonathan Taylor Thomas and like, you know, take the pictures off the, you know, out of the magazines and put them on her wall and different things like that. And back in the day, Christina Ricci used to be in those magazines, and if you know, you know, um, Jonathan Taylor Thomas or Hanson wasn't on certain pages, and Christina Ricci was, I was able to get pictures of you know the pictures of her and put her on on my wall, just like my my sister had those other people on hers. I had Christina Ricci and uh, you know on mine, you know, back in the day, you know, like you know, junior high school status, you know, kind of stuff. So I'm gonna be heading on down uh, to, to the Silicon Valley Comic Con. So come along with me and. Uh, I'll take you on the adventure. TSA well guys, just made it on over to the airport, airport right now, the Hollywood Burbank airport. Got my luggage, because I'm only going to be gone for like a, a day and a half. Made it through the security checkpoint. I had to take my shoes off, they had to pad me down, grab my crotch, and all sorts of stuff. Now getting on to the airplane, I, like I said, I haven't been on one in many, many years. So come on Southwest, be good to a brother. Finally made it on over to the convention center right now for the Silicon Valley Comic Con. People are lined up already, dressed up in costumes. This is kind of like my Comic Con this year because I can never make it to the big one. So I go to this one. Well guys, I just had to go to this big blue building before I go into the actual convention center itself. You know, to pick up my uh, press badge and everything. Man, there's a lot of people here. So <laughs> who knows if I'm going to get a chance to meet Christina or not. <laughs> who knows how, how this is going to unfold. On the convention floor right now, let's walk around and uh, see the cool sights and things and see what kind of other stuff, you know, they have for sale. Horror movie wise, movie geek wise. It seems really kind of busy in here. Came across this really cool booth over here that has some like Power Ranger memorabilia. Of course, they have like this, you know, Tyrannosaurus Rex T Rex uh, figure signed by Rocky. Of course, you know, Steve Cardenas uh, from the original Power Ranger series. And uh, they have these ones right here. I, I remember these ones as a kid, but I was talking to the owner. Like this one right here, or the owner of the booth, this is like a repro. Or like one of those ones that just got released again recently, because like this is not the original one from back in the early 90s. But like I like how they have it in this like you know kind of packaging. I remember having all these ones uh, for the most part, uh, you know, a as a kid and stuff. And for 25 bucks, that's a pretty decent deal. And they also have like this really cool Green Ranger helmet up here for 150 bucks, and it comes with like, it comes with a stand and everything too. But really cool collectible stuff that you can find over here at this convention. All right, guys, I'm here right now with the legend oh, okay. himself, Hi. Chris Kattan. Yeah. You guys all know him from there at the Roxbury and stuff. Like, um, yeah, so, Chris, Chris. Don't um, get dizzy. No, I'm, I'm trying, I'm, 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 gonna see, I'm gonna see if I can do this the whole interview. All right. But uh, out of all the, I, I can't do that, but out of all the things you've done, what would you say is one of those ones that stood out to you? That, uh, like, that you like the most? About the sketches? Like, yeah, sketches on SNL. Oh. Uh, Sorry. Well, I like doing all of them. There's just something about them all that I like very much. You know, I like Bob Talk or the Mango or Mr. Peepers or Roxbury or yeah, Phil Forrester. You know, I like them all. Is it what? What, is, what you been working on lately that you can let, let people know about? Like a website or a new uh, project? 
Well, yeah, you can always uh, see what I'm doing up to lately on uh, my uh, Instagram, which is Pushkatan Official, Pushkatan Official, or my Twitter, which is at Pushkatan, and I have a YouTube channel as well. You do? Oh, yes, you, do, do. you do skits on there, or do you like vlogs? I do, I do, yeah, I'm starting up. It's, it's new, but the, yeah, you, so be a s subscriber on my YouTube channel. Yeah, make sure Michael McKay. Oh, that's oh. not me, yeah, I don't these, have to go. These people. Yeah. No, but guys, make sure you guys check him out on his YouTube channel. And when you go there, tell him Brendan sent you, so he'll so he'll Very know. Nice. Yeah. Me. yeah, that's right. That's right. Chewy, you've changed, young man. You've changed, Chewy. Hey, Captain. Captain. Captain, what's happening? What's happening? Crocodile, get him! Oh no! Run! Run! Oh, Captain, your hat! Oh, he's got you! Oh, bruh! Oh, oh fail! <laughs> fail! It's me! Go! Go! He's after your ass, boy! And there's the table, guys. She's not here yet, but there's the table. Oh, shit. Kind of crazy, but at the same time, Christina Ricci's here. And I'm a little nervous, because she's my all-time celebrity crush. You know, my very first celebrity crush of all time, so I can't even speak right right now. Christina Ricci. So, a lovely day in San Jose. Yeah, very nice. Uh, so, um, I mean, obviously there's there's so many different places that we can start, um, but I think for 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 you, uh, as you are where you are in your stage of your career, uh, are there specific things from uh, from your career that have really persisted? Uh, longer than you had anticipated. So something that really has has caught people's imagination that, that at the time you would have no had no way of, of realizing. Well, I started acting at seven, so yeah. I don't think I even knew what it meant for something to stand the, to yeah. stand the test yeah. of time or yeah. anything like that. So I think almost everything I've done that has been sort of that it's carried on and but over the decades has really been surprising for me. I mean, those are the obvious ones, like yeah. Wednesday and Casper, all those things. I don't think anyone needs me. <laughs> It sounds like we have some fans out okay. here. Was were there filmmakers that really not only valued you for your performance uh, and 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 the talent that you brought, but also like as a person that was able to really make a connection that was able to make Sorry. your job a lot easier. Right into the mic. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, yes and no. I mean, I've always been very much sort of. I come to work and I'm there to do a job. Um, I. I became, I mean, I don't know if this answers your question exactly, but um, I worked with Terry Gilliam, and watching him work was amazing to me. Like, he was just such a, um, <coughs> just such an artist, and every single detail, and it was, so it was really amazing to work with a director like that. Uh, and I, I'm, he's one of my favorite filmmakers. So, as you said, you have the privilege of working with a lot of filmmakers over the years, and unfortunately, some of those are no longer with us. One of them is the late great uh, Wes Craven. I was wondering if you could share some experience what it was like working with him and on the set of the film Curse. Wes was great. I mean, Wes was great. Wes was um, definitely an incredibly intelligent man, um, very sharp, uh, very exacting. Um, but 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 a reserved reserved guy, so I didn't really get to know him very well personally. But but I mean, just such um, a smart, thorough, precise uh, artist. How's it going, Christina? Hi, good uh, you know, uh, what are your memories of uh, filming Sleepy Hollow? Hmm. Um, I had a great time. I mean, we it was a huge cast, and most of us were there um, together for a lot of it. Uh, the sets were amazing. Um, we were in England, which was fun. Um, yeah, it was great. It was really fun. I was afraid of my horse, but other than that, it was great. Can you talk about what it was like uh, working with Samuel Jackson on Black Snake Mode? Amazing. I love working with Sam. He is, um, I've always, I was such a huge fan of his for so long, because I was obsessed with Pulp Fiction when I was 14 years old. Um, so I was just in love with him. And when I was scared, when I was a teenager, I used to pretend I was him. <laughs> I think I would feel a little safer. Um, uh, and uh, so when I worked with him, I was just so excited, and he's so great, and he's so much fun. And then um, also just as an actor, he's really, he loves acting, so he's really there with you in every scene. And there were so many scenes in that movie where I'd be just crying at the end, and he would hold me and like you know be really sweet to me when I cried. 
Thank you. Oh. I love him. As, as an actor, how do you get to do normal things? Like, do you ever get to go to a movie? Do you ever get to go to an amusement park? You know, things like that. Yeah, I mean, I do. Uh, it's, um, you know, there's always the element of knowing that people might, might recognize you or whatever, you know. But, um, but you know, I've been doing this and, and, and kind of well-known since I was so young that I think I'm just really used to it now, you know. But yeah, I do all those things. I've been to Disney World like four times. I've just been parks. They're great. They tell you you can't go if you're famous, but you can. Thank you for joining. Uh oh, it's Darth Vader. Oh, and Darth Vader, and Darth Vader. What are you guys doing? Oh, oh. There's too much dark side going on here. There's way too much dark side. Got out of Christina Ricci's panel, and for the first time ever at a convention, I actually bought a photo op, you know, with her. I don't normally do that kind of stuff, but but it's Christina Ricci, man. Like, when the hell am I gonna get the opportunity to do this? And I heard at her booth there's no selfies or something, so uh, um, this just happened. Uh, hanging out with Christina Ricci, well, not really, it was the photo op thing. If you guys go to conventions, you know how that is. Hey, Oscar, what you doing in there? Are you grouchy today? Are you happy? Always staying grouchy, right? Okay. Hey, where's Cookie Monster? You don't know. All right, guys, I'm with the legend herself right now, Nicole Nichols. Hi there. That's I'm right. doing fine. How are you? Pretty well. Everyone knows you as Lieutenant Ohura from Star Trek, but are you a fan of Star Wars? Of course I am. What do you think is better, though? Your show or the movie? Uh, or my show, of course. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Do you, do you have like a, a favorite memory uh, being on set, working with the cast? Oh, I, I just in any time we were together was wonderful. Yeah. When, when you were doing the show, were you were you a fan of uh, sci-fi, or did, did you even know what sci-fi was when you did that show? What? Were you a fan of sci-fi? You know, be, before you did the show. No, no, I was just wondering because some people just, you know, do stuff for work sometimes. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Marty McFly? Wait a second. What time is it? Uh, it's time for you to go back to the future. Oh, because time flies. Buzz, uh, buzz, buzz. buzz, buzz. Oh. All right, bye, Marty. Uh, goodbye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is Fluffy here? Fluffy Sugar? Fluffy Gamer, you in there? All right, guys, I'm still at the convention right now with the man himself, Ernie Reyes Jr. Yeah. How you doing, pal? I'm doing real good, man. How about yourself? Pretty good, man. Last time I saw you, like I said a minute ago, I was hanging out with you in Hollywood at a Ninja Turtles 2 screening. That's right. And everything. But man, what's up with uh, Surf Ninjas, man? Is there ever going to be a, a sequel? I don't know, man. I heard a few people hollering about it uh, online, you know. Uh, seems like a lot of people would like to see that. But uh, you know how that goes. A lot of movie pieces of the puzzle make something like that happen. So. Yeah, dude. And like, like I said earlier, I follow you on Instagram. And you're always out there going to the gym, keeping active. And recently, I, I don't know if I talked to you about this, but I've lost over 200 pounds. I was over 500 pounds at one point. Okay. And I'm just trying to like keep at it now. You know, like yeah. what, is, what is your advice? Yeah, I mean, 15 minutes, 20 minutes a day. You know, go on a walk, do whatever you can. Just like, get out and move your body. Especially if you're working at a desk job. Yeah. You know, you just gotta take 15, 20 minutes out of your day. You know, go for a walk or something. Move, move your body around, get your heart rate up. That's what I wanted to ask you. Do you, does, do you and your father teach lessons at all when it comes to like physical fitness? Or uh, my dad has schools in the Bay Area, West Coast martial arts. I'm out in Hollywood, California. I train at Unbreakable Performance. Break room performance? Unbreakable. Unbreakable, okay. Is there anything you're working on that you can let people know about? Uh, just follow me at Ernie Reyes Jr. On Instagram. Make sure you check him out. Thank you, Ernie. Bye, man. Hello, Jabba. Came across another cool toy booth over here. A lot of toys, not really much movies, but they have an Ernest Urkel doll uh, in here in, a, in its box. I have, the, I have the doll itself but without the box. 60 bucks though, kind of cool. And here's something I have never seen before a Casper 3D viewfinder. Not exactly sure. What, is that one of those ones like you put like those little things in? You know, like those little, those little strips, you just kind of click, click. Like as a kid, you like change the picture and stuff. That's kind of, that's kind of rad. And of course, they have a Pink Ranger, you know, like wrestling buddy, you know, kind of toy right here. And of course, a P. Re Herman doll. That's 90 bucks. But that's cool because it's in the box and everything, and you can't go wrong with some uh, Gumby. Hey, Indy. 
Indy. Indy. It's so cool, man, that you're still rocking, you're hanging around at Comic Con, but with your father. Are you, have you guys gone in, on any adventures? We don't want to talk about Haiti. Oh. Haiti was a bad experience. Oh. Okay. Hence of voodoo. All right. It's well, Haiti has lots of snakes and mosquitoes. Hmm. Thank goodness there was no rats. Yeah. But it's cool to see you guys are still hanging out together. Guys, how cool is that? We got some Disney princesses roaming around. All right, everyone, just got out of the convention right now. The night's winding down, and uh, oh, man, I'm tired, I'm pooped, and what? Who? Did you guys, you guys lost? Uh, yeah, where are we? Where are we going? I don't know. I'm, I don't know where I'm going either. We're just looking for a, a food. Food? Yeah. So you want to ask the fat guy? <laughs> oh. I get it. I get it. The food's over there. They have street meat down there. Okay. 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 Thanks. All right. Later. Thanks. So I am no longer at the convention center right now. I'm at the local hotel. I'm going to be bunking here uh, for the night. All right, guys. This vlog is not quite over, but it's going to end right here for right now because I'm going to be hitting the town because you know when a wet movie party gets started, it never stops because I got some other plans uh, tonight. Hopefully it all goes well, because I'm gonna be meeting up a friend. Who knows what kind of craziness I'm gonna get into tonight, hitting the town, hitting the nightlife. So I'll see you guys in part two. No. We are gonna go dance, because that's what our bodies are telling us. I know, we have to dance, we, we have, have to be to alive. Dance.